it's your girl Tay and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Come spend some time with your girl. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Tay. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Come spend some time with me. If you've been here before, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. I definitely appreciate it. So today we're just going to do kind of a little recap of what's been going on with me in this pregnancy. I kind of dropped, dropped the news on y'all and said I was pregnant and then I just kind of was like MIA. So I'm back. I'm feeling so much better. We are finally in our second trimester. If you've been pregnant before, you already know that first trimester, that first trimester will make you or break you, literally. So today we just got us a little snacky snack. I just made us a plate of fruit. We got um, <clears throat> pineapple, mango, watermelon, strawberries, and a kiwi. I just got off work and I am so hungry. So freaking hungry. How have y'all been? Let me know down below. We got us some chamoy, y'all. We finna hook it up, okay? Let's put some chamoy. Y'all like chamoy tahina, y'all fruit? I just love anything like good and sour lately. So this definitely does what I need it to do. Now, look. Delicioso. But yeah, y'all, we're going to jump right into it. I'm so freaking hungry. This mango, honestly, I got the pre-cut fruit. It could definitely be more ripe, but it is what it is. I got my little notebook right here. We're going to jump right into it. So, as of today, I'm officially 15 weeks. So, when I dropped my... <clears throat> last few videos i haven't been back and watched them i don't remember how far along i said i was but whatever it was was wrong because my doctor had based my due date off my last period but y'all already know your girl goes through pcos and already got a whole lot going on so she was like let's go ahead and send you to get ultrasound i don't think i've talked to y'all since then I should buy nothing, but I ended up only being seven weeks and three days when we thought I was nine weeks and four days. So it pushed me back like a lot. Seven to nine, that don't sound like a lot, but in pregnancy weeks, that's a lot. Like I was on my way to my second trimester and y'all pushed me back to the damn near beginning of the first. So right now today, July 29th, I think, I am... 15 weeks pregnant as of today so i'm obviously in my second trimester let's recap the first trimester though so i found out i was pregnant when i was very very early maybe three four weeks they said my conceived date was around april 20s sometime i found out March 20 sometimes. So this baby was like, I'm here. What's up? Y'all finna know about me. This ain't no secret. So my first trimester lasted so long because I found out so early. So when I first found out I was pregnant, because I found out I was pregnant so early, they were like, before this is before I had ultrasound, obviously, it could be twins because I guess. I've never had twins. I don't know anybody with twins. But supposedly with twins, you feel it and you know it's there. The pregnancy is happening like a lot sooner than just carrying one baby. Like the symptoms are on like go. So I was like, I'm probably having freaking twins. Because it is not often that you hear about women finding out they're pregnant at 34 weeks. So anyway, when I had an ultrasound... It was just one baby, y'all. Your girl was ecstatic. I mean, I've always said I would love identical twin boys. That should sound cute to say, but imagine like going from one child to three kids. I would have been happy eventually, but damn shocked if that really was the case. Like for real, for real. Anyway, let me quit playing with this damn strawberry. So... That was that on that. I really thought I wasn't going to have twins, y'all. 
And then y'all already know what I went through my first trimester. Like all women do, I was nauseous as hell, tired, constipated. And I don't know if I talked about this or not, but this pregnancy, I experienced spotting in my first trimester. Now, with Kenzie, I never experienced that. But with Mackenzie, I didn't know I was pregnant until I was like eight, nine weeks. So the spotting, I probably really didn't pay no mind to. Thought it was period related or whatever. If I did spot with Kenzie. But this baby, I was so early. I got all of it. I got all the symptoms. I got all the side effects. So I did spot with this baby. What else? Oh, in my first trimester too. I got the gender. At 10 weeks pregnant, which is insane because with Kenzie, again, I didn't find out until I was, I think, 22 weeks via ultrasound. This baby, we got to do blood work at 10 weeks. This pineapple is so good. And I got the results back in like a week. Mmm. In my first trimester as well, I experienced my first migraine of my life. I'm 31 years old, and that was some of the worst damn pain I ever felt. I wouldn't wish that shit on nobody, to be completely honest. Like, my head literally had its own freaking, like, pulse. Like, oh, God, it was, like, literally, I felt like if you looked at me, you could, like, see it, like, pulsing. I mean, you literally couldn't, but that's what I felt like, man. People who go through migraines all the time bruh what else i was always tired y'all already know cravings in first trimester pretty much what they are now anything sour for a little bit i was feeling the um restaurant style salsas and fruity drinks and in my first trimester we picked the baby's name. The baby's name was kind of like Mackenzie's name though because like we knew Mackenzie's name before we even knew we were gonna have kids together. Um, so. Mm. Let's go forward a little bit. As you guys know now, I'm in my second trimester, thank God. The second trimester has been easy, but what has been killing me slowly is my sciatic nerve pain. Comment down below if you know anything about it. The fact I'm sitting on this floor right now, my man would probably cuss me out. Because I know this is going to trigger it. But I didn't really have nowhere else to sit with y'all. To have my snack with y'all and talk to y'all. So I was like... Hopefully I'm good, but my sciatic nerve has been having me out the game. Can't walk, can't talk, can't think, can't get up off the toilet. And it's like random shooting pains. And you know, whenever you're pregnant and you go through things like that, there's nothing really that can be done. You know, you can only take Tylenol. Had, I was told that I probably should go see a chiropractor or something, but I know I shouldn't base my experiences off nobody else's, but did y'all see that girl recently in the news? Perfectly normal girl, no health issues, no prior health conditions, been to the chiropractor plenty of times before, and he popped something wrong, and she is now paralyzed from like the neck down? No, ma'am. I'll deal with this pain. No, there's just no way. Anyway, so yeah, that is something that my second trimester has brought. Very, very, very severe sciatic nerve pain. Now with Kenzie, I had it after I had her, but it would come and it would go. This shit is here to stay. I'm like scared to see what the next few months are going to bring. Um, Second trimester, what else? Nothing's really been going on. Y'all know the second trimester is really just like a breeze. I am um, not really craving nothing. Same thing, like I said just a few minutes ago. Sour things. Fruity drinks. Um, oh, another thing is this being my second baby, I've realized 
whenever I made a registry, but I'm gonna keep, I'm not gonna like post it on here, nothing. I'm gonna keep it private. Just for like friends and close friends and family, you know. Um, I, uh, when I was making my registry, I noticed I'm being very minimal with this baby. Like with Mackenzie, I had a diaper genie, you know, bottle warmer, a hundred, excuse me, a hundred damn outfits, which Kenzie came out 10 pounds, 10 ounces, could barely damn fit a newborn outfit for maybe the first couple weeks. So with this baby, whenever I did my registry, very minimal, very few newborn outfits, because I'm just expecting this baby to be bigger like Kenzie was. Very few uh, newborn outfits, mostly three to six or zero to three, I mean. And then whenever it comes to diapers, I'm basically, I think it starts, y'all don't even see child, don't even damn know. I think it starts at a zero or does it start at a one? Either way, I'm going up to the next one. If it starts at zero, I'm starting at one. Maybe one box of whatever the smallest is, but I don't need no diaper genie. No, none of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this, I'm being very minimal with this baby. Like she's going to have what she needs, what she wants. I mean, what the hell can she want? She's going to be a newborn, but we ain't doing it overboard. Cause a lot of times whenever you do it overboard with newborns, it's like it goes to waste. They can only wear so many damn outfits. They can only use so many damn diapers. I mean, diapers you always gonna need because you can always like take them to where you got them from. But see, my my registry is on Amazon, so I'm like, where I can't switch these diapers out. So I need to be strategic on the diaper sizing because I don't want to get a whole bunch. And then you know, like if you get them from Walmart, you can take them back to Walmart and be like, I got the wrong size. But if I got them off Amazon, what the hell am I gonna do with them? Um. I think that's really it. Sciatic nerve, mild cravings, nothing crazy. Um, the next thing is bottle or breast. That's like the question that can make or break a damn conversation. Me, fed is best. Feed, feed your baby and why is there any other question about it? You know what I mean? So, for this... Okay, so when I had Mackenzie, we did not know we were going to have to have a C-section. So, after I had her, I was out of it, y'all. I barely remember anything. Um, For, like, the first couple hours. I remember trying to feed her, and I was like, you have to take her. Like, I'm going to drop her. Like, I, I don't even know what's going on right now in this world. I didn't really have supportive nurses. Um, so, wasn't really successful. I honestly also need to take blame for that because I didn't do my own research with breastfeeding. I thought it was just going to be like, here's here's the titty, like, do what you do, go ahead and eat. I also didn't plan for a C-section. So, it's like, I wasn't prepared. This time, like, I definitely want a birth plan and I definitely want to strictly breast breastfeed. I'm planning on taking a certain amount of time off work. So I don't believe there's any reason I shouldn't be able to strictly breastfeed for that time span, at least. Now, if whenever I go back to work and life gets going again, if I have to do both, I would love to do both. Um, I'm just down for whatever works for the baby. Um, like with Mackenzie, like she obviously I couldn't get her to breastfeed. Then when we got her on formula, she was having a reaction to the formula. We had to get her on Nutrimi again. I don't know if you heard about that before. So it's just like. You kind of just got to roll with the punches whenever it comes to babies. So my plan is to strictly breastfeed for the first part and then move on to, um, which also not only, not only just from the boob, but, um, breastfeed and pump. So yeah. And then as far as movement, have I felt anything? Um, I believe I felt some flutters, but I was really, really early, so I'm like, is that even possible? Some people say it's not possible. Some people say it is possible. I, I, I really, honestly, couldn't tell you. Um, I believe I felt flutters though, or movement though, since I've gotten into my second trimester. Them flutters that I'm referring to, that I don't know if they were right or not, is I was like, 
that was around like early early this month so what almost a month ago at this point I was only like 9 10 11 weeks so I don't really know if that was the baby or what was going on in that situation you know but yeah y'all I'm finally feeling better I do have this let me see what's on the top of this before I just flash this A little picture of the baby. I was only. The date on here is wrong though. This says I was 14 weeks in one day. That's not right. I think that's going off of what we thought my first due date was. I had to have been like 12 or 13 weeks. I think 12 weeks. Yeah, I think I was 12 weeks when they um, did that one. So yeah, y'all, I'm finally feeling better. I want to start posting at least once a week. I'm not even going to set the bar too high. Um, I'm still tired a lot. I still work full time. Still a mama full time. Kids goes back to school soon. We're almost done school shopping. I got all the clothes like little by little over the summer, so it wasn't like one big ass purchase. Um, ordered her backpack and stuff the other day. I don't even want to talk about it because why is stuff so expensive? But that's another video for another day. I love you. Thank you so much for joining me for my snack. I'm about to chill and. Yeah, it's Friday, but that really don't mean nothing for me. <laughs> I'll just be chilling still regardless of what day it is, what night it is. And yes, 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 I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, for still subscribing, for still showing me love. I got a couple comments I got to go reply to because I haven't even been opening up like the YouTube Studio app because I just knew I was like not here for it at the moment. Y'all know how it is. Y'all understand. I know y'all do. I ain't got to explain. But anyway, I love you. Subscribe, join the fam, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.